Greetings, friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Cryptarch. I'm Fwop, and we're going to be assaulting one of these wrecks in the next few seconds. Um, looking at the bonus objectives again, right here, these three. Um, loadout max, once again, something I try and avoid. Uh, here's a easy mission, uh, level three, you can tell. Uh, not worth as much money, but still not bad. Destroy arm ranks, no supply pods, keep door locks. Those are some pretty easy objectives. Um, we do have quite a bit in the bank. Uh, at this point, we might consider just going for straight tech. I will note that if you lose a mission, you still get to keep your tech advances. So you can't actually um, just kind of fly around on the cheap and die and nab tech if you need to, to kind of bolster your ability to take out other missions. Um, or you can stick to cheap missions. Uh, it's up to you. Basically, the things you have going are you need to acquire tech. You, the goals of the game. You need to acquire tech so that you can take on tough missions. You need to acquire money to fund your missions. You need to assault uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven alien ships to get to the end. And, optionally, you need to acquire maximum possible revenue uh, for score purposes. So, uh, all these things conflict or can work together or conflict in various ways. Uh, here is another 3 max hole, but this has two juggernaut factories, and juggernauts are really, really brutal. Um, destroy drone factories, there's only one of those, uh, but then there is a failsafe we would probably have to kill. Uh, so, looking at three different, destroyed three different things, juggernauts en route. Um, one of the problems about reloading this game is I can't tell what my tech uh, is. Uh, it would much, it would be very beneficial for me to be able to review my acquired tech before selecting a mission. Uh, like, I might be able to take this, but not only with the right equipment. And I can't remember if I have the right equipment or not. Um, what about max 60k? Worth 171,000 cash all by itself. However, um, and this mission reward, 343, this may actually be worth going after um, and not doing all the bonus missions. I could do 3 max hull and destroy repair systems. That's probably going to happen anyway. Um, can I handle three max hull? I can't recall. What about here? Nine and a half minutes. Eight minutes. I could probably do all three of these. The loadout max of 100k is pretty tough. Um but it doesn't have too many drone factories and it has sentry systems. Sentries actually fairly easy to take out. Um, and I can afford to be slow and methodical here. Let's, let's go for this. We may or may not go for all the bonus objectives. I might skip out on the 100k bonus uh, simply to give myself a better chance of surviving. We'll see. Okay, what's my current loadout? Right under 100k with storm and a couple of railgun shots. A couple shotgun shots and one nuke. This isn't enough ammunition. Well, let's look at our weapons. We did get a heavy machine gun ricochet, very expensive, really awesome. We also got the lightning spindle. We've seen those. Auto cannon, rail cannon, slime mortar, sticky, explosive, EMP. I haven't showed you. It's not really that interesting to watch. That looks like everything new we got. So let's let's go with this loadout. Let me show you what's up. So this is the heavy machine gun. This is the ricochet. Can't harm yourself. Looks like 
It's willing to bounce twice. Um, uh, does damage really fast. Note that it's kind of got a uh, slow tracking pattern. It's not terribly accurate at range. Um, but part of why Ricochet is so good is this thing's inaccuracy. Um, it does tend to spray, and that makes the ricochets cover a whole lot of area. Um, I find the ricochet to be awesome. Piercing might be a little bit better, but this is way too expensive. Oh, and the lightning spindle is awesome. It can shoot through walls. It can shoot through armor. Um, it doesn't have a whole ton of power, and it does take a bit to recharge, but an excellent weapon. Uh, we might go all... I go all laser up in here. Oh, only one energy can be sent. Okay, okay, wait. Well, storm hammer. So I can't take two energy weapons. Okay. So you're restricted to one energy weapon. Uh, the storm hammer is better. Um. I need something with a lot of ammo. I mean, this puts us right at 100k. A couple railgun shots. I'd have to save those for the sentry cannons. Uh, looks easy. There are two shields. There are two repairs. Let's look at where the repairs are. We have a lot of time. Looks like the repairs are quite separated. There's a lot of enemies. The armoring is actually gonna drain our ammo really fast. Is there a door here? Cause that would be awesome, no? Know that this alarm is shielded because we have two shields here. Game feels a little clunky. One second, let me check some stuff. Recording. Okay. We can use resupply pods, which is really nice. It means we can go in with less ammo uh, and refill our ammo and health as needed. This makes um, our loadout potentially cheaper. Like I could ditch that. I'm definitely gonna need one because I only have, well, because yeah. So that could, we, mm-hmm. Okay, that's a pretty superior here for me. 5k for that, not worth it. So this is how the burst weapons work. The main benefit is that if your pointer is in the right place when you click shoot, all those bolts are going to go the same place. So you fire off more bolts at once. Over time, I believe it fires off the same number of bullets per second. But the burst helps you aim, as long as your aim is good to begin with. If you're just tracking around the screen, you're actually going to miss more. Okay. So, I opted for a lot more burst and a lot more ammo there. Um, we are going to want to take out these armorings. Uh... Oh, there's an alarm on that one? Jeez. All right, 
here is my plan then. We'll jump in. We'll take out this armoring because it'll make life a bit easier. They have one drone factory. I should probably take this out. Um, so we'll take out this armoring. We'll take out this drone. We'll grab this science. Between the two. Probably this door key. Maybe this door key too. Two keys is enough to have in reserve. We'll come back down through here. We'll fight off some of this. We'll clear a little bit around the core. Oh, we have to keep the armorings. Yeah, so we're going straight for this drone first. And if we go that way, it actually... Let's go one, two, grab this key, destroy this alarm. Grab that science. So we're going to grab all this. You do have... Looks like we have a minute and 11 seconds before this starts pumping out the first one. So we will attack it. Uh, we'll take out these two systems first. Uh, and we'll grab all this science and goodies. The next thing we're gonna do, we'll probably take it outside the ship. Maybe I'll come grab this. We'll sweep out here, sweep around the outside. Um, kill this alarm, nuke this repair in this station. Now that may bring this alarm back online, but we do have to come back up. Uh, and just going straight for this repair, unfortunately wouldn't work so well. Actually, no, I guess we could, we could destroy this repair twice. So we'll come in, kill this repair and clear out some of the enemies around it. Wipe out this, wipe out this. This repair will be working on the first one. It'll probably finish. It probably won't get around to this alarm before we can get down and nuke both of these, sentry, this sentry and this repair. Uh, then we'll... Yeah, then we'll come back up, destroy this repair again. Grab these techs fly out, swoop in here, destroy this armor. How many sentries are there? There's two sentries? Maybe I should just make a ha I should just kill this one? Yeah. Alright guys, got the plan. Yeah, let's, let's go through here. Okay. 100k max, 6 armor max, 80 to keep armorings. Okay, don't destroy any armorings. It's going to be a tough one, but I think we got it. Okay, fly by the minimap, much easier than flying by eyesight until you get close to the doors. Storm hammer. They will, these things will bounce off your shields. Okay, we want the storm hammer here. That wasn't nearly as effective as I would. Oh shit, that didn't work at all. Uh oh, I thought the storm hammer would actually work on these things. Uh, 
Okay, remember, all you have to do is beat the core. Which means this shield, that core. And since it looks likely that our main plan's not going to work here, I should grab as much tech as I possibly can. So let's actually just focus on grabbing tech. No, I did get hit by that thing. You can't use your shields once you go into like outside mode. Uh, which is pretty troublesome. And left me vulnerable to its attack. You really want to destroy those proximity mines? They are brutal. not get hit that time. Okay, so we're gathering up tech because we are probably totally screwed. Um, that's where I want to go, but I'm going to fly around the outside so as not to face all sorts of enemies. Note that once you trigger enemies, you can kind of lose them by moving around. And we do still have, where's my clock? 6.42 on the clock. Um, Plenty of time to do something. Okay, do I have a key? I didn't pick up any keys. Okay, that's an armoring. We have to leave it. Oh, didn't see that. Use the storm hammer. Stop healing things, you jerk. Oh, proximity mines, why? Your shots do affect this thing's momentum. Medium machine gun not really doing the work here. Oh, they're both repairing it at double speed. Oh, oh. That's so brutal. Um, okay, well, let's collect tech and head towards this thing. I will need a key. So let's come up here. At least the enemies aren't going to repopulate terribly fast. that tech. Remember which way the laser is facing, lest you... Ouch. Oh, we got... Oh, we got shot from below. There's a turret. Alright, so we lost less than 100k for our loadout. Um, the failure fee is 100k. Fortunately, we did figure out we were going to lose in time to 
acquire 11 techs um, for the cost of 200,000. Not bad, actually. Okay, let's take a look at our techs. We did get a sensor, um, which opens up ghost ships to us. We got the smart zip gun. I haven't played around with that too much. We got drunk rockets, saw blades, slime cannon, napalm cannon, incredible damage there. Allure lets us um, pull people in. Uh, let's us trigger our own alarms uh, remotely. Uh, we got the helix cannon, helix energy weapon, as well as the EMP energy weapon. I don't think I've seen the EMP energy weapon. And we'll get four more missions to choose from. Um, overall, that was a good tech run. Uh, we kind of pulled out just in time, I think. Loadout max 60k, three max hull. This is a death sentence right here. 60k, also not terribly fun. No supply pods, destroy alarm, keep sentry. All right, it's only got one sentry system. Um, it's got two alarms, but destroying alarms is not so bad, especially if I have the right piercing equipment, like our rail gun, I believe, goes through the alarm, and so does our storm cannon. And here, 100k. Max six hull, no supply pods. Otherwise, we can do as we see fit. To repair, that's a pain. This is a very... F we do have to be quite quick here. And it has a juggernaut factory. Um, time is going to be quite a problem. Let's look at what level all these things are. Level 1 drone factory, but level 2 juggernaut factory. These repair systems are going to keep us running around until the Juggernaut Factory comes for us. It's between these two, uh, but the loadout max is really shifting me away from this one. As I do think that's how we die. Now, we could make a tech run. In that case, the higher the level of the ship, the more tech is available. Uh, I think... I'm going to stop this video here, and I'm immediately going to record the next one. I think we've gone a bit longer on one mission than I normally do. So, so I am going to do that. I think we will go after the ship right here. Um, we're going to make a concerted effort. We're going to need nukes. Um, it is going to be kind of an expensive run, but we expect to destroy everything. Um, we're going to need nukes to destroy the repair centers before they can like auto self-repair themselves and stuff. And we're going to need some heavy loadout. But fortunately, we gathered a lot of tech in the last mission. So, um, yeah. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And <laughs> until next time, please do as I say. Not